Got friends coming over tonight? You could do a lot worse than make one of these. I'm Richard, and these are my cherry tomato, basil, and feta for catches. These focaccias are great for sharing with friends. We have this every time we invite people over. We'll start by making the dough. Start by weighing the flour into the bowl, then add the salt and yeast to either side so they don't touch. The salt will kill the yeast if they touch each other. Then dry mix and stir in the oil and the water. Incorporate them together with a spatula, then mix with a dough hook for 10 minutes. This dough will be quite sloppy, but that's completely normal for focaccias, so don't worry. The dough is ready once it's become elastic and smooth. Transfer into an oiled plastic container. I like to use an ice cream tub. Once you've done that, put cling film on the top and leave to rise for an hour. You'll know it's ready when it's doubled or even tripled in size. Right, we're an hour later. The dough has risen. The surface is greased. It's time to tip it out and chop it up. That's gone nice. Everything you do from now on needs to be greased, otherwise it will all stick together. Obviously be careful when you're running your fingers up and down a sharp line. There. And very, very gently, so you don't burst any of these bubbles in it, it needs to be put on your baking tray. So after 45 minutes, the bread should have risen. Now it's time to study the tomatoes. Slice up your feta quite small and scatter over the top, making sure to press that down too. Drizzle with more olive oil, then salt and pepper to taste. I like to make quite a lot of salt to this, but you don't have to. And this goes in the oven for 25 minutes. So there we are, out of the oven, cooled and sprinkled with basil. I like mine with vinegar, olive oil and a massive glass of wine. See you next time. Thank you.